welcome to Midtown! Whoa, I hope this shoot isn't a huge inconvenience for you. You had to get off the bed to come to the living room for the first time all day. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to Mametown. Cheers! <sighs> I'm drooling, Beezers. I'm drooling. Did I drool on you? That was not booze. That was pure ginger because it is cold season and I ain't trying to get sick. But that ginger is really spicy and if, once you take it, you just start doing Lamaze. It basically feels like your mouth is nine centimeters dilated and whew, that baby's coming through. Anywho, today I thought that I would do a Mame Town classic. A thing that I haven't done in quite a while, but it's actually the first thing that I ever did on this channel. You guessed it correctly, three loyal fans. It's a $10 haul, y'all. Okay, for this haul, I went to a store that's a few blocks away from me. That it's one of those stores where you wonder how it's still in business. Every single item on the shelf is covered in a solid half inch to a full inch of dust. For those of you familiar with ancient Pompeii, when the volcano just covered all of Pompeii and everything turned to ash, that's what looks like happened in this grocery store slash dollar store thing. It actually was near and dear to my heart because it reminded me of so many spots in Brooklyn, which I don't get a lot of in LA. Because in Brooklyn, you would go to a grocery store and when you go to get a sweet potato from the bottom rack, there's just a cat sleeping on it. There's just cats sleeping in the produce section and then you're paying like $4 a lemon and you gotta wash the cat hair off of it. It's, I don't miss it. Needless to say, the place made me sneeze, made my eyes itch, and made me almost throw up a few times, but it got some good shit out of it. I got so much stuff for $10. I, let's just, let's get into this bad boy. Okay, first item I'm just jazzed about. Y'all aren't even gonna believe this. It's a hot rod crimper. When I say this place hasn't sold anything in 20 years, y'all thought I was joking. Y'all probably thought, oh, Mamrie, you know, she exaggerates, that's what performers do. Boxes do not get more 80s than this. Except my box, which has a huge bush, but it was very big in the 80s. <laughs> oh my God. For best results, this appliance must be switched on for 12 to 18 minutes prior to use. That is some archaic fucking technology. 18 minutes to heat this up? I can bake a frozen Stouffer's lasagna in 18 minutes from a rock solid piece of ice to a pipe and hot dinner. Oh, 80s. Well, I guess I'll start preheating this thing so that by the time I've shot and edited this video, I can cramp my bangs. BRB. Ooh, 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 ooh. I found, this is great. It's this spray called Money Spray. Can you see that? I'm assuming that what this does is it just brings you money. Okay, um, thus far my bank account is the same, but my headache has definitely grown. So, oh, um, I got this children's meal set, which I thought was adorable. I mean, I'm getting to the age where some of my friends are having children, mainly the idiots. Just kidding, friends who are having babies who watch my videos slash stop watching my videos and go take care of your children. Anywho, I don't want them to feel like they can't bring their children over just because, you know, when they ask if they can, I let out a big sigh and an eye roll. So I thought I would have this prep to show them that, yeah, bring your kids. They can eat over here. Let's have a great time. So you can see it's like a little pink plate set with clowns on it. Is there glue in that spray? <sighs> oh. And it's actually blue, not pink. You know what, there's a few things that are misleading about this. One, on here, it's pink. Here, it's blue, okay? That's like, you know, getting a gender reveal cake, cutting in, it says it's pink, you think you're having a girl, and then a few months later, a little penis pops out of you. I mean, I'm not trying to gender my children's meal set, but that's just false advertising. Second thing, isn't this motherfucker supposed to come with a bowl? And lastly, I would just like to know what, what two-year-old's coming over drinking coffee in the morning? Is being a toddler in this day and age so stressful that now they drink coffee? You know what, this is so frustrating that I think I'm just gonna scratch the idea and not have friends bring their kids over. I mean, I tried, I really tried. Also, oh, I think it's the, I think it's the 
crimper that stinks. Watch me just crimp my nose. That'd get me some views. These are gonna pull at your heartstrings like you got a little ukulele in there. High school musical sandwich bags. Let's check out one of these bags. Whoa, uh, they're also on the bag, y'all. And then you can write, I'm assuming, either your name here or what you're eating. So it says, Gabriella and Troy High School Musical presents Baby Carrots. I don't know why you'd need to say what you're eating when the bag is clearly, it's clear. Lee, it's clear. That's fun though, I think I'll put my drugs in these. <laughs> Again, this is a store where things are sold like they're new. This isn't a flea market, this isn't a garage sale. This is an actual, like a store. This is a six piece mug set. Just the quality of this box, um, possibly a rodent started to eat through it and then decided even this cardboard is too old for me to eat. So. I like to have friends over for breakfast. I like mugs. Oh my God, I love these. Look how 70s that is, dude. Is there rat droppings in here? <laughs> there might be rat shit in here. These are gonna go through the dishwasher twice. <laughs> but look, you got an orangey brown one, a purple one, maroon, an orangey red, a blue, and then there was a green one, but it's broken. And I need to get this out of my house before I find like a rat fucking newborn in there. So we have the spray for the jackpot, but here I thought this was great. It's some sort of oil to help you through difficult times uh, in your life. I got the one that's specifically for breakups. As you can see, this couple right here, they are not having a good time. It says love, no, with a line through it, forget it. I ain't afraid of no love, Ghostbusters thing. I love that it's for breakups, and I especially love that they spelled it breakup. Like, if you're going through a divorce and someone cut the brakes on your car, not a lot of spell check when it comes to various potions at this store. Finally, I just thought this is so cute. One dollar, and we have got this bird cage. Um, it's so exciting. As you can see, there's it's China technology, which, I mean, only the finest. Oh my God. Look at this little guy. Let's get some batteries in this bitch, huh? This is the part of the hall where I like to um, go through my home and find a different thing that takes AA batteries and then take those and put them in here, probably for my TV remote. And then later when I go to watch TV, I'll be pissed. <laughs> Quick update, the money spray still, it's just filling the home. So yeah, good thing to come. <laughs> Publisher's clearing house, where are you? <laughs> Mainly because I'm gonna need money for all the medical bills that I think I might have just caused with all the trauma to my nose and brain from that spray. Yes. Whoa. For real? Do you think it's actually like Submitting signals to China, maybe this is a spy tactic, all, all the shit's going down with Trump. The best part about a pet with batteries is you can take the batteries out. Did you hear that, Beans? I'm coming for you. I think it's been 12 to 18 minutes. Let's get these bags of crimp. For those of you who aren't aware of what crimping is, it's great. It's a hairstyle that was really popular in the 80s that's essentially a wavy, like zigzaggy shape that looks terrible. Oh, you see this crimp? I'm sorry, Spilo, that hot rod has still got it. I didn't think I was gonna make over in this $10 haul, but I will take it. Hey Beans, any interest in me crimping your hair? I noticed that you are admiring my bangs and I just don't want you to feel left out. Hey, I got a jackpot after all. <laughs> Bye.